So you might be in a situation where for some reason Android Auto is just not working. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. The first thing I'd recommend doing though for the most part is making sure that your car and your device all support Android Auto. So your phone most likely supports Android Auto, but you want to make sure your car supports it. So if it was working before then you can skip this, but if you're plugging in a USB Type-C cable, make sure it's plugged in directly into the car and not through like some sort of like a third party like car charger or like a, you know, the e-sig charger in the front. You want to make sure it is actually through the port of this car like this. That is the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now, the other thing I'd recommend doing here is also making sure that that USB Type-C cable you're using is of good quality and it's a good condition charger. If it's like a broken charger and it's barely even charging the device and it's faulty, it can disconnect and connect all the time. So I'd recommend not doing that. I'd recommend getting a good quality charger. And that in and of itself, again, can be another thing that will probably end up fixing it for you. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, you may just want to double check the Android Auto settings that you have within your car. So if you're connecting via, you know, wireless Android Auto or something along those lines, you can always make your way over to your Android Auto settings by just going into your iPhone. By just going into your Android settings, and even as soon as you type in Android, you'll see Android Auto right there. Tap into your Android Auto settings. What you're going to want to do here is you just is you just want to make sure all these settings within this Android Auto option look appropriate and they look good. If these settings do not look good, or if it looks like there's lots of issues within these settings, what you're going to want to do is just go through and just make sure that all these settings are properly set up, and that can be another thing I'd recommend doing here as well. Now, if that is still not working, what you may want to try doing next is just going through and seeing if Android Auto or your phone has an update. So you can make your way over to your you know, Google Play Store, type in Auto just like this, so Auto just like so, and you should be able to find Android Auto somewhere. And then what I'd recommend doing there is updating the Android Auto application or updating your phone. So both will do the exact same thing. So if there's an update available for your device, just go inside of your Android settings, click on System, go into System Update, and then just going through and seeing if you can update your system and that's another thing I'd recommend doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.